I'm talking with Research Associate Jason Boone about the National Public Survey on White Collar Crime. Mr. Boone, I just spoke with your colleague about the victimization aspect of the survey. Now, another research area explored by the survey was reporting behavior. Can you tell us about the survey's findings in this area? Sure. When we took a look at reporting behavior, we found that very few white collar crimes are reported to law enforcement agencies. This year, we found that less than 12 percent of white collar crimes are reported to any law enforcement agency. That seems low. Does this level of reporting compare to reporting levels for traditional crimes? Sure. Whenever we take a look at traditional crimes, for example, in 2008, the National Crime Victimization Survey found that 47 percent of violent crimes were reported to law enforcement and 40 percent of, of uh, property crimes were reported to a law enforcement agency. Now, whenever we compare it to the 12 percent of white collar crime, we can see that, that people who are being victimized by white collar crimes have a long way to go in, in terms of reporting more. Do you have any idea why people are reporting white collar crimes less to law enforcement? There's a couple ideas that we have. One is that white collar crime victims tend to be embarrassed and ashamed that they've you know, kind of succumbed to this type of crime. The other thing is, is that whenever we take a look at the overall reporting, uh, just under 31 percent of victims are reporting to credit card companies as a way to kind of recoup the costs of, of the victimization. This is fine, but what we'd like to see is, in addition to reporting to credit card companies, also report to a local law enforcement agency so that they can be aware that the crime has been committed.